Alright, I am going to be doing the Rec 7 this time around. I do believe it's Rec, not REC. Uh, but yeah, this is like 9 minutes long. Like the longest I've ever done one, so I'm probably going to ramble on through most of this. And in this game, I don't oh, shit, what did I just hit? Motherfucker. Okay, we're good. Uh, but yeah, in this game, I did pull a Bax and Base Rape Alpha on two towers the entire game. In fact, these guys rage quit. That lag spike just saved my ass right there. But yeah, these guys just rage quit, so it was not that fun to play with. I think I went through like four different people on this game. We pretty much destroyed them. Uh, you will see two different matches in this game because they left. See, what is up with this lag? It's always on this map. But yeah, finally getting to the gun. Oh my gosh. This gun uh, seemed to have more recoil than the M4, A1, M416, those series. Uh, it's not bad at all in any sense, but it's worse than those. But Oh shit, I almost got knifed. But yeah, it has a fast, an extremely fast fire rate. A 35 round magazine, same as the UMP. So with a fast fire rate, you put an extended mag 2, which I don't suggest. But if you want a 50 round spray cannon, that's what you can do with this. But, uh, oh and again, just like the M416 uh, CQB, it comes with an integrated iTech. I mean, it feels like kind of a worse clone to me, but it seems in CQB, which is kind of ironic, this gun does better because of the five extra, actually in total it's 15 extra rounds, but whatever, but five extra rounds in the mag and the fast fire rate. Um, damage, it is pretty much a three, now, oh wow, four hit kill, a really strong four hit kill. What the fuck was I doing there? But yeah, uh, it's... A really good gun, actually. I did like it. It is beaten, in my opinion, by the CQB, but I still like this gun a lot. I would. This will probably be my next perm gun. And, yeah, this rest of the video is really just base raping alpha, like, bad. So, don't get anything new. But, um, the portability on this gun. Uh, it's not as high as the CQB. It's pretty much the closest thing I can compare it to. I don't even know why I F5 that guy. But it's pretty close to CQB, I'm guessing. It feels really light. Oh, I shot that guy through a wall. Uh, it feels really light, but it is heavier than that. Either way, though, this is a nice gun. But I really just feel that it is overshadowed by the CQB. I have no clue what just happened there. Uh, yeah... I really don't think if you're going to get a perm gun for the first one that this would be the one you should get. It's alright, but it's not the best. Lauren, really, go the hell away. Oh my god. But yeah, it's it's alright. I'm. Oh my god, Lauren, just go. Okay, just go. I don't overreact, just go away. Okay, back to this. Um, it's really... Why did you turn the light on? Anyways, uh... Oh my god. I'm not gonna redo this, it's just too long. But yeah, it's a nice gun, overall. I like the iTech, as I said in my CQB review. I like the iTech a lot, and I like it when it's integrated, although some variety would be nice. And I think it'd be a lot hotter gun if they moved the iTech back. Uh, I mean, back farther on the rail. But there's really nothing, just like the CQB, nothing you can complain about with the gun. Uh, it's not as noob-friendly. I'd really... Okay, I guess it is a spray-and-pray weapon in pretty much all definitions. Higher fire rate, higher magazine count, not count, uh, magazine, ammo, storage, increase, whatever, but, yeah, it really is a good gun, but it's not the best, so, 
And here, I mean, the rest of this, you're pretty much just going to see these guys get camped really hard and me get a couple kills. It was pretty sad. I can understand why uh, Bax, yeah, he has like a 2.5 KD or something like that. I, I think I ended this game, so, the oh, <laughs> this is a new game because everybody rage quit. But I think I ended the previous game, I think it was like 24 and 4. It's so easy to just base rape Alpha on this map. I can understand why he does all his reviews on there because it's so easy to look good there. I mean, I really generally suck in game, but I do kind of average here. But yeah, oh, and that was my Lauren. Oh shit, that was my sister Lauren I was talking to earlier. I don't really take this gun that seriously. It's kind of a joke clone made easier to spray with the CQB, so I'm really just kind of screwing around with you guys right now. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a... Ah oh, shit, I've said that like 20 times. I have no clue what else I can talk to you about on this gun. Recoil is not bad at all. It's really a spray and pray weapon. It wouldn't even matter if it was bad. You could make this like a tank round. It wouldn't be bad. You gotta just poke your barrel in their balls and then you're good to go. But, yeah, it's it's alright. It's not as noob friendly as I've already said because I'm running out of crap to say. Holy bejesus. I actually kind of give reviewers some credit for being able to talk about nonsense for 10 minutes. Oh my god. This is impossible. But yeah, again, ah, uh, that guy got owned. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of turn it over and say watch me kill people, because this is a good gun. Oh wait, I would not recommend adding an uh, extended magazine or a quick load magazine. I would not do that. And I would not attach a suppressor on this gun because it just actually I don't even know if you can you probably can but I would not it has a nice firing noise I'm kind of sure that the damage would be dropped enough to be a less consistent four hit kill so I would really just keep the gun as it is it comes with the scope so it is a good deal but there are definitely better things for the same price which I would say are the CQB and if you're actually good with it I personally suck so badly with the G36 you could get the G36 Valkyrie which is so I guess if you're quote super pro unquote then you can be good enough with that I guess I'm not gonna hate on pros for using it I suck with this so I guess they're good Oh, God, thank you. The video's finally almost over. But there's that guy. I don't know if that's a glitch. If you want to tell me in the comments, that'd be nice. This is my joke review. I might as well get one out here. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's... I would recommend this gun if you don't like the CQB because you think it's, like, overpowered and you're some person who thinks they're cool because they can use underpowered guns. I do not know of anybody like that. Actually, I do, but I'm not going to say any names. But yeah, there's my little lucky ass kill that doesn't get a kill, so have fun.